Yo, what is going on guys? We are back today for another video and I don't think I've ever made one of these videos before if, or if I have, I don't even remember and it's been a very long time. Um, but I've been giving this a lot of thought lately, like over the past couple months, a lot of thought during streams, you know, people talk about what's the best class in the game. Um, and, I, and I think about that a lot and it's interesting because like th for a time, a, a long time, and this is more recent history, the mutant class has been, I'd say, widely regarded as the best class in MCOC by majority of the community. But I'd say that's like a year ago that that was like, you know, facts. But a lot can change in a year, especially this last year, 2022. It has been a revolutionary year for the game, especially the quality of champions that have been getting released this year. So many bangers, so many absolute bangers released this year. And and then like I feel like there's hidden bangers as well. For example, Valkyrie, man. I'm falling in love with this character. I think she is so underrated. I like it's it's insane. So this is like, you know, I thought she was good, but now that I have her at rank four and I've experienced her, like she's really 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 good you know these these 20 2022 champs man it's crazy but and this has changed a lot of things especially class types which classes are really strong which classes are really stacked um and also there used to be like an easily like the worst class in the game for example a while like two two three years ago the skill class was just hot garbage it was just so bad like it was just undisputedly the worst class in the game it was just, it was just ugh. But a lot of skill champs have come out this year. Skill champs have also been getting some buffs lately, and they've been on the rise. Um, it's very interesting to see how the classes have come, and so I thought it'd be cool to rank them. Now, this was hard to do, especially picking like the, the bottom two classes, because I, I think it's, it's all pretty close. I think every class is in a pretty good spot right now. Um, so keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and talk about the sixth best class in the game also known as the worst class in the game and again this was really hard to figure out um but i think it has to be tech i think it has to be tech um now the tech class has seen some really really good additions uh in recent history uh, nimrod especially i think has just done so much for the tech class uh, it's just the go-to, you know, mutant slayer. And then we've had Omega Sentinel, who's very similar to Nimrod. Higher prestige, though. It can do different things, but also some similar things. These two champs are very, very good. Especially at count countering mutants, which is, you know, their uh, advantage that they have. Uh, and then we've had some more recent tech champs, like Sam Wilson. I think this guy's pretty good. Um... But I don't have him. It's been a long time since I played him, and, and I. But I think I have been overrating this guy a little bit. He is the king of prestige, uh, but I. I, mm, I don't know. I might have to take him down a peg on my tier list because. I don't know. I feel like he might be a little bit overrated, just just a little bit. And then Shuri, she's brand new, so I don't know t a ton about her. But yeah, man, the tech class. Like I said, I'm not saying tech class is bad. But it, it is the most least populated class. The least amount of champions is in the tech class. Um, so I think that's definitely not helping things. You know, just having the least amount of champions in the class in the game. That, that's definitely not helping. It's hindering. Um, and I, I do think the tech class is good. But I just think the other class has more better and really good champions. So tech class is landing in our number sixth spot now the number five class uh suffers a very similar problem to the tech class and that is the mystic class which is it is tied with the tech class for having the least amount of champions tech and mystic always like as long as since i've started playing this game um those have always been the two classes that have the least amount of champions in them now why do i even know that i know that because when Abyss came out, and we're going, f when the Abyss Nexus Crystal came out, which was way after Abyss came out, actually, uh, which is really stupid. Um, but I remember your best chance to get the champ you wanted was in the Tech and Mystic class because it's the least, the least amount of total champions in those. So that's that's how I have that information. I just double checked on Aunt May, and yeah, Tech and Mystic both tied um, <clears throat> for the lowest amount of champions 
in their respective classes. Now, I do think the Mystic class is awesome. I think the Mystic class at one point was the best class in the game a long time ago. Um, and there have been a lot of really good additions to the Mystic class. Honestly, I, I think the Mystic class is so good. Um, like, I'm not saying anything bad about it here. I'm really not trying to. And and the, the, the thing that really separates the Mystic class from the other classes is Mystic Dispersion. That is huge, man. Mystic Dispersion is by far, out of the six classes, the best class mastery. The tech class has an okay one with collar tech, but... But Mystic Dispersion, Mystic Dispersion is huge. So the fact that the Mystic class, you know, has a really powerful Mystic Mastery that they can take advantage of is huge. It's totally huge. But that kind of feeds into what makes the Mystic class so good. And that's for defense. I think the Mystic class is the strongest defensive class. For sure. For sure. Not even close. If we're just talking strictly defense, Mystic is number one. Like, there's just so many good Mystic Champs, and even an okay Mystic Defender can be made into a way better Mystic Defender with Mystic Dispersion. So if we're talking defense-wise, Mystic is number one, right? But I, I feel like because of that defensive problem, a lot of Mystic Champs, you know, are more so focused on being defensive. Like Mephisto, like Sassy, like Ebony Ma, um, like Man-Thing, like Dormammu, um... And then, you know, there's other champs that can, and, and, and Mangog. And then there's other Mystic champs that, you know, can do good on both, like Dragon Man, uh, Mojo. But, you know, you definitely favor them more on defense, typically, typically. You know, when you think of Mojo, you don't think of an attacker. You think of an annoying, degenning defender, right? That's just what you think of. Um, so I do think the Mystic class is really good. I just think it's more of a defensive class. And again, same things with the Tech class, having the least amount of champions. Is not doing it any any favors okay so those what are what i think are the bottom two classes now it gets really tough picking the next class um but uh i uh, i i think it's mutant so like I said, uh, the mutant class used to be widely regarded by the majority of the community as the best class in the game. And the mutant class is, is so, so strong. It's so stacked. It's really good. And I think the biggest thing that ever happened to the mutant class, well, Kate Pride, she's the best mutant in the game, easily. But the biggest thing for the mutant class as a whole, this guy right here, Apocalypse. The mutant class definitely, definitely has the best pre-fights you, you can't argue that you can't argue that uh you know cosmic now has the odin pre-fights and gallon but still even both of those I, I still think the horseman's probably better if i well how do you then again having both of them but i mean you need two champs to get both of those pre-fights whereas you know you just need apoc um and if we're comparing just the horseman to herald the horseman is far superior if we're just comparing the horseman the odin pre-fights horseman's first spear for pairing both then i'd actually I, mean, I don't know i think i'd actually have to think about that um but the, the ability to make any mutant a horseman is so cool it's so cool one of, one of the the coolest things in the game I, i'm really really ha happy with what they did with apocalypse um horsemen just get so many incredible abilities bleed resistance 100 percent uh a prowess which a lot of mutant champions already get prowess so you stack that on top of more prowess or just give them prowess it's huge a, a, offensive ability accuracy that is incredible um that is incredible go unblockable for two seconds when the opponent purifies a debuff that is sick and some champions are just able to take so advantage so much advantage of this horseman ability for example archangel that increased ability accuracy being unblockable every time he gets a neurotoxin it's crazy plus you have a, a super sick safety net of going unstoppable for three seconds when struck. That is so good. Passively unstoppable too. Not a buff. Uh, Apoc, just re I think he revolutionized the mutant class. Um, but, but even still, even still, the other classes I think are just stronger. And they've just gotten so strong that the mutant class, I really don't think it can compete anymore. I'm not trying to say the mutant class is bad by any means. It's full of so many bangers. It has it's had some really good buffs lately, like Bishop, one of my absolute favorite buffs. Gambit, I think Gambit's one of the most underrated champs in the game, actually. Um, 
and some some really good defensive additions to the mutant class with Sauron and Toad at the start of 2022. I forget these guys came out this year, man, because they came out right at the start. Um, but yeah, I, I think the mutant class, it, its problem is it's just it also has a lot of garbage. Um, not a lot, but but a fair bit. And just a lot of just mediocre champs. Um, I feel like that's a bit of its problem. There are a lot of really good champs, though. Uh, I do think the main class is really strong. It's just the next three classes, I think, are just a bit stronger. So let's go ahead and move on to the third strongest class currently in MCOC in Legacy's opinion. And that is the skill class, man. Dude, the skill class... Like I said, it, it was hot garbage. Hot, it was so bad. But it was just easily <laughs> the worst class in the game. But honestly, the skill class got by far, by far, the best buff treatment. Uh, it, it just took so many garbage champions and made them like, so relevant. So, so relevant. Like, let, let's, let's, let's count. Falcon one incredible buff i love falcon so much he's just so makes things so simple and so easy so basic just dash back whole block all right go to town incredible such a good buff kingpin a lot of people think kingpin is like i do hear still people say kingpin is the best skill champ i do hear that uh i don't agree with that i think kingpin with full synergies yeah i think he could be the best skill champ um but at his base just so many kingpin fans out there um which i love uh and i really like kingpin as well kingpin before he got buffed was by far um my my favorite and my best champ um on the mcoc arcade game which is so much fun you can actually like 1v1 someone like you're controlling a champion they're controlling a champion you got like joysticks and stuff um and Kingpin is so good for that because he's heavy. He just goes unstoppable. I, I don't think I've ever lost with Kingpin on the MCC arcade game. Such a legend for that. And this is before he was buffed. Um, I, so Kingpin always will have a special place in my heart. Once I awaken him, I'm definitely uh, going to use him more. But yeah, Kingpin, incredible buff, right? Um, Crossbones, again, incredible buff. Thor Ragnarok, I wouldn't say incredible buff, but a solid buff for sure. Karnak, another one. Not wouldn't say incredible buff, but a solid buff. Now he's usable for sure. Mole Man. Um incredible buff, then slight nerf. <laughs> but yeah, another one. Buddy really turned into a, a full-fledged skill corbus. Um Masakre, another one. Uh he I we have seen crazy things with with this guy in Battlegrounds. Um Fintech. I think he was the first person to really Show me, Masakura. He took my weapon at, I threw Weapon X on defense, and he just rinsed it full health with Masakura. Like, crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Um, Hawkeye got buffed. Uh, kind of a mid buff. Uh, kind of a mid buff. Uh, Black Panther got buffed. I think this one's less talked about, but I think it's an underrated buff. And now he does have a new look as well, which makes him look cooler. Um, but yeah, overall, good buff, right? And... Let's see, did anyone else get buffed? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's finally it. But just so many buffs. So many buffs in the skill class. And on top of all those buffs, they've been pumping out a lot of really awesome skill champs lately. Like Shang-Chi, one of my favorites. Just such a controllable champion. Black Cat, it's pretty cool. Uh, in the right matchups, she can just be insane. She is the easily the fastest Um world record time taking down uh red hulk that's like a, a perfect fight for her and she just does it so fast it's it's honestly ridiculous um we've also had misty knight this year who's pretty good i've heard really good things about her uh atuma don't have him yet um and one of my personal personal favorites valkyrie um i honestly she's like my one of my favorite champs right now i am i'm in love with her I am working on just uh, such a sick video for rank four gameplay with her guys. Stay tuned for that. Trust me, it it's gonna be good. There's one fight in particular. Um, stay tuned for it. But yeah, that that's the skill class. Uh, I, I think it's number three right now. The skill class has come such a long way. Um, 
I'm proud of the skill class, man. Went from hot garbage to the third best class in the game, in my opinion. Love to see it. And now we get down to the final two classes, and that's Cosmic and Science. Now, this one's really tough. And, and I was looking, because once I looked at the Tech and Mystic class to see how much they had, I was curious, like, which class has the most? And uh, it is by far Cosmic. Cosmic has the most champs in the game. Um, but it's tough, man. I still... Science and Cosmic, top two classes. 100%. 100%. I honestly, I'm not sure which one I put at number one, which one I put at number two. Um, it's tough. It's tough. I, I want to put science at number two, but it's basically tied. It's basically tied. I'm gonna say science at number two, but it's basically tied. And let's talk about the science class a bit. Um, man, the science class, um, is also had some really solid buffs. There's been some solid buffs in the science class. Uh, Human Torch got buffed technically. Uh, Mr. Fantastic got a pretty nice buff. Miles got a pretty decent buff. He's really good at countering uh, Unblockable now. spider Gwen got a pretty awesome buff. Red Hulk got a great buff. Uh, Luke Cage got a buff back in the day. He's definitely not like, super good, but he's definitely a lot better than he used to be. He used to be one of the absolute worst champs in the entire game. Um, so at least there's that. Yellow Jacket got... An all right buff. Uh, my buddy Zarafa has got a rank four yellow jacket. He is a monster in battlegrounds defensively. So okay buff. All right, Ant Man. I think Ant Man got a really sweet buff. I really do. I, I think it's a good buff. Uh, Joe Fix It got a really good buff. I'd say the science class has gotten the second best treatment when it comes to buffs. And also She Hulk got a really 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 good buff. Uh, the science class has come a long way. It had so many just garbage champions. Now, it still has a lot of garbage champions, but it definitely has a lot less now, which is really good. Uh, but on top of that, there have been so many crazy new additions uh, over the last couple of years. Overseer, uh, Mr. Negative, and then in more recent history, Titania, Quicksilver, Spot. We've already had four science champs this year, and the best one of them all, Scorpion. Um, I, I, I do think Scorpion is the best science champion in the game now. And I, I'm in awe of this character. Having him at rank four and playing him so much now in Battlegrounds, like, it, it's crazy how good this guy is. Uh, like I said, just the quality of champions this year, 2022, it's unreal. Uh, and Scorpion, just the selective immunities, it's just crazy. Um, yeah, man, I really love the science class. There's just so many good champions, just so many of them. Um, it's wild. Science class really stacked. I really love the science class, man. Uh, Quicksilver. I hate this guy because I can't pull him. But uh, yeah, I think the science class is incredible. And even champions that like aren't regarded as you know the best of the best are still really good. Like for example, Spider Ham. You know you don't hear people talk about Spider Ham too much, but he is such a beast. Same with Immortal Hulk. Not my personal type of champion that i like to play but an absolute monster in the right hands immortal hulk can do crazy things uh anti-venom another one um i've seen some really really good stuff out of anti-venom uh, it's just there's just so many so many science champions um I, I really love the science class it's it has also come a far a long way the science class used to be hot garbage as well um the thing it had over the skill class, though, is it, I think it just had more champions. So there was more playable champions, right? Uh, but yeah, the science class really has come a long way. It definitely used to be really, really bad. And then I think, yeah, I think Co I'll, I'll put Cosmic as the best class in the game. The Cosmic class is just crazy. It, it is just crazy. And like, when, when I look at, when I and I think about all the class types... I feel like cosmic should be the strongest you know like these cosmic beings i feel like they should be the strongest it, it, it makes sense in my head at least but um yeah the cosmic class has just seen so many so many really good additions and the cosmic class has also had some pretty solid buffs um 
who are some cosmic champs that have gotten buffed odin got a buff which made him a lot better um terax got a really really solid buff i'm a big fan of terax's buff annihilus got a buff uh not the biggest fan of it but it definitely did make him better gamora has gotten multiple buffs and i think she's in a really good spot and i think gamora is pretty good man she like if i was starting a new account and i pulled a gamora i'd be pretty stoked about it she's pretty good uh angela got a phenomenal buff she that sig ability change that she got pretty incredible um the ability to lower debuff damaging debuff duration crazy uh venom pool got a really awesome buff his cooking meter um i gotta i gotta make a venom pool video one day i really do he, yeah uh he got a sick buff venom actually too got a buff a long long time ago um and venom is still pretty solid carnage also got a buff uh carnage and venom were buff at the same time and carnage got a lot better dude carnage used to suck which double sucked because i carnage is one of my favorite one of my favorite villains of all time so i really wish he was still a lot better but he, he did get buffed um and yeah i think nova also got buffed but I, i'm not the biggest nova fan uh outside of putting him on defense um am i missing any buffs i think that all of them but yeah uh and then thor got nerfed yeah thor used to be a beast but uh, aside from all that we've just had a lot of really good really really good new additions to the cosmic class and there's been a lot of them as well um icarus mm, not the biggest fan of, of icarus uh i'd say he's one of the the weaker of the newer cosmic champs but cersei who came alongside icarus absolute beast menace on defense as well uh null absolute monster i love null man he is such a i went so hard for null when he first came out um and i just didn't get him cosmic ghost rider oh he's not really new but just w the coolest champ in the game not the coolest the the most badass champ in the game the coolest champ in the game is iceman uh but yeah cosmic ghost rider the most badass champ in the game for sure uh this guy one of my personal favorites looks wise he's just so good and just damage 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 and then of course we got hercules the first ever summoner's choice champion and he really really set the bar high being arguably the best champ in the entire game <laughs> um so yeah there's that you know uh if your class has arguably the best champ in the game it's pretty insane and then the fact that the best champ in the game i don't even have him at rank four because there's two other cosmic champions that came out this year that i want to rank for way more than hercules and it's these two champions that really i guess for me pushed cosmic just slightly above science um at the end of the day and that's gallon and hulkling i think gallon and hulkling are arguably the, the 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 two best champs released this year definitely top five um i'm gonna be making a top 10 best champions released of 2022 i i I haven't started working on it yet, so I don't have the exact order, but I know that I'm definitely going to include Hulkling and Gallant in the top five. Um, both of these champions, neither are getting rebalanced. They're safe from that, uh, which I'm really happy about, but they are just both so good. Just beyond words, so good. Um, so good offensively, defensively. Uh, both of them have just been absolute MVPs in Battlegrounds for me. Um, like, when I think of my three biggest... Or, like, just, like... If I think of three champions that if I'm playing them, like, my win rate is above 90, 90 to 95%, the three champions that come to mind are Human Torch, Gallon, and Hulkling. Like, when I play one of those three champions, I usually win. And it's just because they're so good. It's like it's it's absurd. These two champions, just for me, leading the class right now. Um, 
one of them is going to be my first ever rank five six star uh which i'm really really excited about uh i leaning slightly towards gallon right now um but it, it could go either way uh it, it really honestly could so yeah guys that that is what i'm thinking for the six classes in mcoc ranked from worst to best and i say worst because every class i think is in a pretty solid spot right now and every class is looking pretty good right now uh so this was very hard to get to come up with an order but this is how i feel about the game i've been playing for six years now so i have been playing for quite a long time i've seen the classes change and for the first time like they're all really good and just in a really good spot and i think that's really good and healthy for the game hopefully we see a lot more buffs as well um but yeah guys that is gonna do it for this video drop a like if you enjoyed let me know if you disagree and if you disagree what would your order be um i'd love to hear why you think that uh tell me why but yeah that's gonna do it for this video and also if you do agree let me know um but yeah that's gonna do it i hope you guys enjoyed uh subscribe if you want to see more content we're getting so close to 100k it's gonna be crazy um love you guys so